What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. This is part two of two of cooking up the flathead and the scorpion fish. If you haven't seen episode one, check it out up here. And without further ado, let's get into it. So what we'll be doing is a spicy hot pot, I guess, just throwing a whole bunch of things together. We'll see how it goes and it should be good. Okay, so I'll start by prepping the greens. We've just got some I think this is pak choy here and some spring onion. Oh, and we've got these uh, mixed mushrooms here that I picked up from Coles. Pretty cool. Just make sure there's no, not too much dirt inside. mushrooms let's have a look what do we got we have mixed exotic mushrooms let's see if I can identify them we have some enoki mushrooms I believe these will probably be Australian shiitake mushrooms and this big boy I think this will be a king oyster mushroom yeah We'll just chop the stems off and chop them in half. That should be enough prep for these mushrooms. With the enoki mushrooms, I'll just chop the base of them off. Now the king oyster. I've never eaten one of these before, so kind of just winging it. I think I'll do this in big slices. Nice and white inside. Spongy. It's just smells like a button mushroom to be honest. And there's our greens for the hot pot. Okay, so at this point we'll get into the fish. We've got our flathead, the three that we caught. And the scorpion fish. So we'll start with a flathead. And if all goes well, this should be super easy. So, we'll just take our knife, go back behind the fins, cut towards the head, turn our knife once you hit the spine, cut towards the tail, keeping your knife on the spine, flip it over, and then at this point, if you're not using a filleting knife, you can change over to a filleting knife and take the skin off. Just like that. So that's one skinless fillet, but we still need to take the bones out. But I'll take all the fillets off, skin them all, and then we'll take all the bones out too. So same thing on the other side. Underneath the fins, towards the head, hit the spine, turn your knife. Before you get to the end, flip it over. Just cut a little bit. Now I have heard that you can actually tear the skin off the flathead fillet, so I'll give that a go. Yeah. I think you kind of can, but I'd prefer just to skin it with a knife. So there you go. Easy done. So I'm thinking it's easier to peel this excess skin if you pull it from head to tail. So let's test that theory here. Hey, look at that. It works. There you go. So those are the flathead fillets. They've still got their pin bones in them, but I'll take them out after I take the fillet off the scorpion fish. Okay, and as always, scorpion fish, got to watch out for them spines. So, what I'm actually going to do 
So I'm going to chop off the spines first, just so I don't, you know, prick myself. Because I'm bound to do it. Let's just cut off the fins. Alright. There you go. Spooky. Now, I said last time I'd scale it before I uh, take the fillet off, but I'm going to be silly and do it without scaling. Let's see, see if I can. Well, we'll start by taking the head off. How about that? Got the collar. Alright, let's get into the flesh. And it's got a very shallow dorsal spine area. If you can see there, the spines don't reach the dorsal fin. So. Makes it a little bit difficult to uh, fill it that way. Alright. Alright. Go through the ribs. Take off your fillet. Same on the other side. the spine. There it is. So it's a little bit more dangerous doing it with um, the scales on because of the chance you could slip. But you know me, I live for danger. There you go. That's all that's left. Right, we'll take out the rib cage here. Still got the collar attached, so I might chop that off from here. Wow, that one curves in deep. See if I can. Oops. No, nope, can't pull it out. Scissors. <laughs> yeah, I think I might. I might skin it before I try and take the uh, pin bones out. Might make it easier. There we go. Skin off. Oh no. Gonna have to wash that. Okay, I'm back. So one of the fillets just hit the deck and got all covered in dirt. But I managed to wash it off, so we're back. Okay, now, now that they're all skinned, let's take the pin bones out. Okay, good with them. Let's take out the pin bones and these flatty fillets. Okay, so all we'll do with these fillets is just chop them into chunks.
And there you go. There's our fish for the hot pot. Oh, hey, puppy. All right, well, here we have it, guys. We've got our flathead and scorpion fish. We're going to do our hot pot. So, obviously, you get to watch me eat and cook at the same time. So, today's base, I'm going to use this instant miso soup, wakame flavor. And I'm going to put a bit of uh, hot pepper paste, Korean hot pepper paste, gochujang. I think I'm saying it right, hopefully. Ooh. Right, obviously, we'll start with some water. Turn up the heat. Now, how many packets of these do I put in? So I'm gonna guess maybe four of them go into however much water I've put in there. So I'll try that out and see if it works. Bloop. Not gonna lie, looks like poop. <laughs> no, I'm sure it'll taste good. Now, if you're unsure, I believe wakame is Japanese for a type of seaweed. So it's seaweed miso flavor, this hot pot. And I'll put a bit of pepper in it, or Korean chili pepper paste. Okay, so there's four packets of the miso paste. Let's go with, I don't know, that much. Now, I think you guys might wanna, might wanna have a look at this. So I'm just gonna change the camera angles in a second. And with the power of editing, it will seem completely seamless. And just like that, now you've got the best of both worlds. You get to see my beautiful face, and you get to see our beautiful food that we're cooking here. So we'll just mix in that chili pepper paste. Now, some of you keen eye observers may have noticed that I'm actually wearing a, uh, a cooking out top. So if you're interested in picking up one, check out the link in the description. I'll put a link to my red bubble shop where you can pick up, I don't know, possibly a t-shirt with a logo on it, some stickers maybe, whatever you want. So anything you do purchase will support me and Redbubble for their efforts. So I, I literally just uploaded a picture to the interwebs and they take care of it so thank you to you thank you to them yeah thank you for watching let's give the base a taste because it's hit boiling point so we can turn the heat down a bit now right. let's give it a bit of a taste hmm yep Tastes like a nice miso soup. All right, so to our hot pot, we've also got some thick egg noodles and some sweet chili tofu nuggets. If I saw some fried tofu at the shops, I would have got some of that, but that's all I could find. So that's what we're having today. And of course, we're gonna have a cheeky beer. Let's get some noodles in there. Actually, put some sesame oil in there. Sounds like a delicious option. And we'll get some tofu. This probably isn't the best dish to eat while you're wearing white. But I'll try my best to be clean. No promises. Okay, now. Probably some king oyster mushrooms. Oh my goodness, what have I been doing? Of course, I need some spring onion in there. What am I doing? What am I doing, man? Spring onion. Okay, some shiitake. All right, let's put some, some scorpion fish in there. You know what? We'll put both of them in. A few chunks of scorpion fish. 
few bits of flathead. Yeah, that's looking good. And we'll put the Enochia and the Pak Choi in closer to the end because we don't want that to boil for as long. Otherwise they'll just get all sloppy and bleh. Oh man, I can't wait to eat this. It smells so good. So I'm not sure if I mentioned it in the first episode or not, but when me and Jake went out to catch these fish, it was a super slow day. Like, we spent, I don't know, four hours-ish driving out, driving around the boat, fishing here, there, and everywhere, but it's nothing, not even a nibble. Yeah, after that, we finally hit onto some, got onto some fish. I caught my first... Uh, flathead on a soft plastic which is great if I remember I'll put a picture picture up and show you my beautiful catch it's pretty cool so yeah I caught the three flathead and then the scorpion fish was actually bycatch I don't even know how or if people target scorpion fish but yeah that was a delicious bycatch okay I think we might be good to throw some enoki pack joy in whoops which means we're nearly ready to eat. Oh yeah. You know, I'm gonna try one of these shiitake mushrooms. Here we go, first taste of the hot pot. Not piece of fish, but hot pot. Mmm. <sighs> fresh shiitake mushrooms are so much better than the rehydrated ones, wow. Mm. Awesome, awesome, awesome. What else is there? Bit of tofu. Everybody loves tofu, right? Mm. Beautiful. Vegetarian protein. Alright, let's stop horsing around. I think we can bang this on low. Alright, let's get into this hot pot. I'm gonna stand up so I don't make a, as much of a mess, hopefully. Whoa, whoa. What do we got in here? We got gnocchi, we got noodles, we got the pak choy. I am in struggle town. Come on, get in there. We have some shiitake. Ooh. King oyster. Also, pretty funny if these weren't king oysters and I'm just calling them king oysters for the whole damn video. Scorpion fish? Maybe. Let's see, where's some flathead? I'll be able to tell once I taste them which one's a scorpion fish and which one's a flathead. Pretty sure scorpion has a has this little brownness to it and flathead is just pure white. So, two pieces of scorpion, two pieces of flathead. Let's get some of that soup. All right, here we go. I'm still gonna make you guys wait because I gotta try this king oyster. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah. Not much in the flavor department, but the texture. Hmm, that's a really cool texture. Now, if I were to put this texture into words, I guess the best way to put it is leathery foam. Like, you might be thinking, ooh, what the hell? But no, it's, it's really good. I enjoy it. I enjoy my foam. Pak choy with some noodles. As you would expect. Nice and green. Nice and noodly. It's good. Alright. Tony, stop screwing around. Tell us what the fish tastes like. Here we go. Scorpion fish. Remember that one time I told you that scorpion fish tastes like poor man's lobster? 
Yep. Tastes like lobster. Tastes like crab. Got a little bit of a fish flavor to it. It's good stuff. Nice firm flesh. Yeah. It's good. So, get into it. Flathead. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Okay. So, when I said scorpion fish was good, when you put it next to flathead, you can really taste the difference. Like, flatheads, it's like a clean seafood flavor, I guess. Not that, not that scorpion fish is gross or anything, but like, there's a significant difference between the two, so you'd be able to tell. But yeah, they're both good, fantastic. I will say though, if you're doing it in a hot pot, make sure you time it because I think I might have overcooked them and they're a bit dry, but still delicious. Oh no, how do you have a dry soup? Go figure, huh? Cheers, guys. So there you have it. Feel free to stay here and watch me eat if you want, but this will be the end of the video, part two of two. As I said, if you haven't seen part one, click on that little button up there. Yeah, so this was a really cool experience. Doing the hot pot and the great outdoors. Scorpion fish, seven out of 10. Flathead, eight out of 10. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks so much for your support. Like I mentioned, merch in the description. There's no obligation, just an option. If you wanna support me, feel free. But even just watching supports me so much and I thank you guys heaps for it. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.